Welcome to our introductory video on Global Search. We're in the repertory module right now, but at the top you can see the Global Search window, and it's there available to you wherever you are in the program. Here it is in the reference library, family graphs, and so on. It's always at the top of your screen. And you can also search in either repertory or reference library or both. Right now we're going to search in both. All right, let's get started with the search. We're going to type in fear within four words of the dark. That four came from the numeric keypad on my keyboard. You can see that the um, drop down menu of related words happens after you type a word. You can also come over to this icon right here to get synonyms. And, you know, if you just pick one and you can add it, you can replace the word you have in the search window or add a word. And you also have the choice of additional related words. To activate the search, you hit the search icon here or you hit the return key on your keyboard if you are a Mac user the enter key if you are a Windows user. I'm going to go ahead and activate the search. Right now we're in the repertory portion of the search and all the books you see here in the left pane are pertinent to your search. They have a result from your search. The one at the top of the list, Reliable Repertory, is showing in the right pane, but you can look at any of them simply by clicking on them. And whenever you search, of course, you want to bring some of your search over to a clipboard. So I'm going to show you how to do that. When you have a rather large search result, like you do here, you might want to choose a few of the rubrics. You probably won't want to choose all of them. In order to choose them, you hold down the Command key if you're a Mac user. It's the Control key if you're a Windows user. And that allows you to pick more than one. All right, so I've picked some rubrics that are pertinent to my case. All I have to do to enter them into a clipboard is to hit the return key since I'm a Mac user. A Windows user would hit the enter key. And clipboard number one opened up. You see the sub number there, it's four. I did pick four rubrics. And they were in the complete 18, so there they are. If you are looking at a search that maybe isn't quite so big, you want to take the whole thing to the clipboard, all you need to do is go to this clipboard here in the right pane, upper right side, click it, and now you see the number changed to a 6. And Alan's rubrics, those two in the right pane, are there. And of course, the other way that you can enter a rubric into a clipboard is to Click, hold, and drag. And now you see the number has changed to a 7. And there is the acute repertories rubric that I just inserted. You can see here that the reliable repertory rubrics came from the mind chapter. And you can look at that for any of the repertories. You simply have to click on the plus sign and it opens up the chapter names. To close them, to collapse them again, you simply click on the minus sign, it changes to a plus, and they go away. You can also use your directional keys on your keyboard. The right key will open up the chapters and the left key will collapse them. Alright, let's take a look at the reference library portion of the search. 238 remedies and they are all listed here in alphabetical order in the left pane in the first column. Then you have your section and your book. Each line represents one search result. There's a total of 1,067 references. You can see that the search words are highlighted, so that lets you know they're related to your search. And if you're wondering where a particular remedy is. Maybe you want to know if Nux Vomica is part of this search. You can simply type it in the search window, hit enter or return, and there you go. You can find specific remedies to see if they're in your search. To get back to your search result, the entire one, you simply 
click on that X and you come back to the rest of it. Now it's one line per search. If you want a little bit more, you can hover your mouse on each line and get a pop-up window that tells you a little bit more, depending on the reference. But if you would like to read even more, then you can simply double click on the line that you're interested in reading more about and it takes you into the reference library. Here we are in the reference library. I chose to look at Farrington's homeopathy about aconitum and the words that are searched are highlighted so you can read all about it. Alright, to get back to your global search you simply hit the global search icon and you're right back at it. Let's do a more complex search so that I can show you the connectors. I'm going to start fresh. You can add a new tab if you want and I'll show you that later. All right, we're going to do a much longer, much more complex search. It's going to be fear of the dark and I only used the spacebar one time in between fear and dark. And that is the same connection as, if you come over to this icon, next to. So I could have come over here and clicked next to, but I hit the space bar. And I'm going to say fear of the dark and the same remedy as migraine. The way I got remedy was by hitting my space bar. Um, and I want to come over here and show you again. So if you hit the space bar once, you get the next two. Twice, you get in the same sentence. Three times in the same paragraph, four times in the same section. If you hit the spacebar five times, you get in the same remedy, or you can come over to this drop-down menu and choose that. So we're going to say fear of the dark in the same remedy as migraine, in the same remedy as pain, within six words of ankle, within six words of right. And to get those numbers, again, I hit the numbers on my keyboard. You can also come over here and use within two words, three words, four words, five words. You can also use your keyboard for those. Um, and you can go all the way up to nine. You don't have to stop at five. All right, in the same remedy again, and I'm hitting my space bar five times to get that. Crave, or, now or is the forward slash on your keyboard, or come over here, there's or right there. And desire within six words of sweet. And I'm going to activate this search by hitting my return key. Enter if you're a Windows user. So you see the message that came up. Repertory result not found due to complex search query. And anytime you have a complex search like this, you are not going to have a result in your repertories. So you'll need to go straight to your reference library. And that's where we'll go now. All right, in our complex search, you see we have 33 remedies, 1,127 references. Uh, again, if you hover the mouse over each line, you get the pop-up window that gives you more information. And you can also take uh, cl double-click and take any of this to the reference library to learn even more. And you might want to take these 33 remedies into the clipboard because this is a very specific search and it might very well be very pertinent to your case. So all you have to do to take this entire search into the clipboard is to click on the clipboard in the right pane here. And this number turned now to an eight. And you can see there is your reference library search in the clipboard. And now I'll show you filtering. We'll start on a fresh slate for that. All right, to show you filtering, I'm going to start with a new search. We're going to type cough within four words of morning. And I'm going to hit my return key to activate the search. It will be an enter key on a Windows computer. And there is the full search. All right, the first filter that we're going to place 
is going to be, first of all, you have to choose if you're going to filter in reference library or repertories. And we'll choose the repertories for now. This is the icon for filtering. And you can see here that the author tab is grayed out. The way you activate the author tab is you select either the reliable repertory or one of the complete repertories. We'll choose the reliable repertory. That lit up the author tab. Now we're going to search for an author. Herring. We're going to search for Herring. There he is, Constantine Herring. We're going to apply the filter. It turned this icon red. That means that a filter is applied. And in order to preserve this uh, first search that we did, we're going to open a new tab with this plus sign. And there you have it. And again, the reliable repertory is the only one that we're looking in. We're looking for Herring. And in order to check that we are looking at Herring, you can right click on the rubrics, go to View Rubric Info, and you can see here that we are indeed looking at Constantine Herring. All right, let's take off this filter and we'll go and filter for Kingdom. And you see all the icons along here. You can choose a specific kingdom and look for what you need there, or you can go to A to Z if you have a word in mind. We're going to look for Solanaceae. There it is. We're going to apply that by clicking Apply. The filter is set. You can tell that because this icon turned red. And I'm going to keep all my previous searches. I'm going to open up a new tab by hitting the plus sign. And now you see that the result contains remedies that are from the Solanaceae family. Now another way to get this, there is a shortcut. So I'm going to X out of this, X out of this filter that we set over here. I'm going to come to my global search window and type in Solanaceae. There it is. All right, and I'm going to open up that tab again. And you can see it's the very same search. So this was a shortcut that you can do. All right, let's do another filter. This time we'll filter for remedies. Uh, for coughs, I'm going to filter for Drosera and Antimonium Tartaricum. All right. You can verify that you have all the ones you need by clicking this icon here, Apply. The filter is applied. This turned red. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And there you see. Our filter now only is filtered for those two remedies. And these other repertories in the left pane here are pertinent to your search. They all have result as well. All right, I'm going to remove that search. We're going to go back to the filter icon. We're going to look in the reference library, filtering in the reference library this time. And we're going to, let's go ahead and filter for kingdom again, Solanaceae. There we go. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to open this up in a new tab. So I hit the plus sign. But this time, remember, we're filtering in the reference library. So we hit the reference tab. And you see that all the remedies here on the left side are in the Solanaceae family. So we have filtered in the reference library as we wanted to. Thank you so much. Look for other training tutorials and videos. Thank you again. Bye-bye.